Remember Marcus? Yes. He was, yeah, you do. Well, he's the uh, honor student star football player who was in prison for having sex with a younger white classmate. He was 18 at the time. She was about to turn 16 in February. She said it was rape. He said it was not. I traveled to Georgia to get both sides of the story. She said she would give me oral sex. So you never had any conversation whatsoever with him? Not even like, how you doing? What's going on? No, not really. Nothing. She started unbutting her pants. She started walking back to the table. That's when I locked the door. He tried to get my pants off, and I kept on struggling. I had blue jeans on. Mm -hmm. When they got them over me, took me to the back table. She already had her shoes off, mm -hmm. pulling her pants off and her panties off. Mm -hmm. and that's when I, you know, dropped my pants and my boxers and put on a condom, and that's, that's where we had sex on the table. And then what happened? And then he raped me. <laughs> <laughs> After we had sex, she had said, uh, you know, you can't tell anybody because my dad would kill me and you both. I never said anything like that. Mm -hmm. my, my dad, like, he's not racist or anything. I mean, he has colored friends. There are people who say that if Marcus had been a white boy, that he would not be in jail. That's not true. It doesn't matter what color he is. It's his actions that mm -hmm. make it wrong. A jury said it was consensual sex and acquitted Marcus of most of the charges. But because Christie was under 16 and Marcus was 18, he was convicted of statutory rape and aggravated child molestation and sent to prison. The case sparked a nationwide controversy and some jurors felt they had made a huge mistake.